What's up YouTube, my name is Sergio and welcome to the Color Red YouTube channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about uh, how to make your solo adventures through the Clan Tom Clancy's The Division as easy and as fun as possible by giving you guys the best lone wolf, lone wolf class setup in my opinion. I play The Division as a lone wolf for the majority of the time and just in case you don't know by lone wolf I mean by, by myself. Uh, just in case, just in case, I'm pretty sure you guys know that. But anyways, uh, I've been doing my best to figure out how to overcome the fact that the game, although possible playing by yourself or playing solo, is a bit difficult when you aren't on a four-man squad. I've been focusing a bunch on doing high DPS while at the same time staying alive for as long as possible, making encounters made for groups easy for a lone wolf. A level 10 lone wolf, um, actually. Uh, I'll start off with uh, weapons. You should definitely go with a sniper as your primary DPS weapon. The goal here is to stay alive while being able to do as much uh, damage as possible. With a sniper, you can keep your distance uh, uh, to minimize the exposure to the enemy, while at the same time being able to use sni the sniper's uh, high headshot uh, damage to pick off enemies one by one. A bonus would be to have a silence, uh, silencer equipped. It minimizes enemy threat level to help you stay hidden for as long as you can. For your secondary DPS weapon, you'd be wise to go with a shotgun. Although the goal is to keep your distance, there are times where enemies will find their way to you unexpected, unexpectedly. And a shotgun will help you put a bunch of DPS their way at close range. For a sidearm, uh, you should pick what best fits your playstyle. I currently use a shot, sawed off shotgun, but a high DPS handgun would be great. A great choice to help you with mid-range encounters if you feel you won't be able to line up the shot with a sniper at that range. For abilities, it's best to go with first aid and smart cover. First aid will allow you to stay alive for a long period of time since you'll have access to unlimited, an unlimited way of healing yourself so long as you can avoid taking damage so you can uh, uh, use your ability so your ability can have time to recover. My bad. Smart cover will help minimize damage while you take your time to line up your your sniper for a headshot. These abilities when used correctly can help a lone wolf become unstoppable. As for talents, you won't have access to very many at level 10, but you should have access to at least a talent called Adrenaline. It will help you when you need to heal yourself, but your ability to heal yourself is still recovering. And since perks are all active, so long as you have them unlocked, it's best to just uh, get them get as many as possible so those are just as many as unlock as many as possible but for sure for your talents you should have um, adrenaline to help you get more health if you're low on health and your ability isn't uh, recovered yet and there you guys have it the best lone wolf class setup for someone at level 10 I'll be sure to make more class setup videos as I reach higher levels but until then be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the Color Red Let's Play channel that previously was known as the Color Red FPS Project channel. Um, it's a whole big old... It, there's a reason why I did it, but um, just go check it out. And, and enjoy playing The Division, guys. Thanks for watching.